All right, what's good, guys? How y'all doing today? My name is Ken Miko, aka Ocean Crash. I moved my camera because we're remodeling the uh, the basement and the office, which you'll see in my next vlog, which I'm posting soon. So I just woke up and I'm tired, and it's Wednesday. And yesterday morning, the patch for Fallout 76 1.0.3 was released. And um, let's take a look. So, on Inside the Vault, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but on Inside the Vault, they kind of talk about updates and changes that have came, that have come to Appalachia in West Virginia. So Fallout 76 inside the vault. Let's go over this and let's just kind of get my take on these updates. So let's just take a quick look. It says, as we approach end of 2018, we have a few more details to share with you about our current patch schedule. Um, while we won't always have new information about upcoming patches in these articles, we planning to we we are planning to share details about the new game content in-game content all right so let's see these are going to be highlighters i'll go more in depth on the on the actual client um on the what the updates are but these are just overview so this is just an overview so today is december 12th um and they announced another patch coming in december 18th before the end of the year december 11th as we've mentioned before so this one is the one that happened yesterday morning at 9 a.m so we've mentioned before our latest patch contains several new features Automatic removal of rocks, small trees, and other debris when you build in your camp special. Respecking for players above level 50, as uh, well as settings for new PC, for PC, including push to talk voice chat, which I know everyone wanted the push to talk, which is nice. 21 to 9 ratio monitor support, nice. And sliders for depth of field and field of view, beautiful. We have new goodies like uh, that will help you with even more during your quest to rebuild Appalachia. We hope these new goodies are. Right. We found a ton of bugs in this patch, including the personal matters quest. Is that the one where you have to kill Evan? I'm gonna have to double check, but I think that's the one where you have to kill Evan. High level weapon damage and more. We will continue to address these additional bugs in future updates going forward. Finally you're still com we're still committed to make to making our patch updates as small as we can, and we update around 3 gigabytes for PC and approximately 5 gigabytes for consoles. Full patch notes have already been posted, and you can check them here. So actually, let's click here instead of going to them. Alrighty. I already have the game. Um, Alright, perfect. So let's take a look at the December 11th Fallout patch notes. Let's get my take. So again... 1.0.3.10 is this only for console or for pc where's the console interesting they usually put like pc console xbox ps4 um like they did in the previous video anyways highlighted changes here are a few of the major changes coming with today's patch tension additional details further below um let's skip the highlights i think they're gonna yeah Let's skip the highlights since we're going to go through all of it. Uh, so general performance. Several improvements have been made to in-game performance. Nice. I'm assuming they mean like little bug fixes, you know, things that prevent FPS drops. They fix those. Stability. Fallout 76 and the client servers have received additional stability improvements. Awesome. Per That's fantastic. Um, our lighting exposure values have been adjusted for exterior environments, allowing them to appear brighter in darker conditions. Awesome, I like that. Balance loot ammo dropped by creatures has been reduced. Players will now receive. I gotta stop working. Um, 308 ammo and stacks of 1 to 5 rather than 12. This is actually a good change. I have a lot of 0 .308 ammo. I use it consistently and I have around 2,000. So, this is actually a good change. I like this change. Uh, oh my god. Uh, super mutants will now drop gunpowder half as often. An additional chance for loot has been reduced. Caps are guaranteed loot on super mutants until level 16. Okay. I love this because I have so much gunpowder. I just drop it. I have so much of it, I just drop it. 
Um, the additional chance of loot has been reduced. That's fine. Caps are guaranteed loot on super minions until 16. That's fine. I get a lot of loot sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do from, from super minions. Sometimes I get the regular like bolt action rifle with caps and then gunpowder. Or just bolt action rifle with ammo. It's usually ammo, bolt action rifle, and then gunpowder. Those are the three things I get together. Scorched Beast Queen will land more often. Perfect. They're always in the air, and it makes it harder. Um, makes my, my melee build, my, <laughs> my unarmed build, a lot more viable now. Workshops. Players no longer gain experience when crafting at a public workshop. Okay. Whatever. Um, camps and crafting. So this is what they're talking about now that obstructions will automatically be removed. So you won't be kind of like limited to your, your building. And this is more so for, um, yeah, building. And I think the red is now more so going to be for like terrain. So if you're putting your, your, your turret, for example, on an, on an angle, that's when you'll be unable to do it, but no more objects will be in your way. Rocks, small trees, and other half objects no longer prevent players. Awesome. Um, the obstructions automatically remove upon constructing. Nice. Um, placing an object to remove an obstruction and then removing the object will cause the obstruction to reappear. Nice. New. Camp placement improvements. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, camp placement improvements. A notification will appear. Okay, so this is where they're now, so this whole entire thing, um, this whole entire thing is the new change they did where now if you log into a world and someone has occupied your camp, you can just hop to another world and you don't lose your camp, which is a life save because I'm tired of rebuilding my camp. So now if it's occupied, it'll just let you know it's occupied and you can change worlds if you want to. Camp. The percentage of camp's budget has been taken up by certain items and the blueprints will not appear in the budget bar. This is perfect. Awesome. While in build mode, players can now toggle the joystick or cue on the PC switch between objects that have been built and that, can, that cannot. Phenomenal. I love this. The power produced by windmill has been increased from 3 to 12. Perfect. I love this. Players can now purchase. Okay. Cool. Awesome. 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 I love these. I love them. I love them. Progression. By the way, sorry, my allergies are kicking in, and again, I did just wake up. So, and my girlfriend just called me. Sorry. Um, special respecking. Um. Sorry. All right. I was texting her, but I'll call her in a second. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, special respecking. So after level fifty. Um, you can now choose to unlock a new perk card or transfer one previously allocated special point from one category to another. So you get to choose now. Um, this change is not retroactive for characters that have already progressed beyond level 15, but will apply to entry level and every level they level up going forward. If a player chooses to reallocate special point on leveling up, they will be unable to select a new perk card for, for that level and vice versa. Um, respecting details have been... All right, perfect. A 50 minute cooldown has been added to the quest, the Enclave quest, event quest, okay. Uh, XP reward amounts has been reduced for the following quest, perfect. Additionally, the cooldown timer, okay, cool, these are all good changes, like it's okay change. I'm okay with them. Um, I like this one. UI, ooh, this is a beefy one. I mean, oh, my load, I'm gonna try to skip some actually. Um, so UI, they released the push to talk where you can now push to talk, not be stuck. Um, it's set to the, tilt, to the forward slash depth of field. We already discussed field of view settings. We already discussed. It's giving you details now increments of five to maximum of 120 minimum of 70. Nice. New resolution. AFK timer has been reduced to 10 minutes from 30 minutes and they'll give you a prompt, which is okay. Um, Compass maximums have been implemented for each type of marker that can appear on the compass, and up to 60 markers in total can be vi visible. I don't even know you can have up to 60. How much was it before? I've never had that many. Okay, um, bug fixes. Civilian so performance, internet loading screen, fast travel. 
Weak silo. Error. I want to see if they fixed the... <laughs> You've reached level 5. <laughs> so I know I did read that they also um, removed the ability to store uh, all of your fusion cores in a power suit. You can only put one in there now. Okay. Yeah, I never got this, so I'm glad I got this. The now killing Scorch Beast Queen will give you the award. I every I, I had a bug. I have a bug where every time I kill a Scorch Beast, I don't get an award for it, and I checked my awards. It still don't have it. Okay. Yeah, good. Vertibots are hecka glitched, dude. And like a lot of the times I have to destroy them so they can drop my crate because they don't drop my crate. So now, I, like, cool. I like this. Okay. Blur effects. PS4 flames and fire effects now render correctly. Nice. Nice. Fixing an issue that could cause... Shadows and lightning to flickers in some environments. A lot of bugs. Good. No longer hexagonal objects and fire rings. I found this funny. Um, but I'm glad they fixed this. Um, nice, nice. Nice. Being attacked when using a chainsaw no longer attacks tunnel vision. Nice. Yeah, guys, there's a lot of bugs here. <laughs> there's a lot. Oh, man. Yeah, I can't cover all these. <laughs> um, it's taking a lot longer. But um, there are some good ones. Um, they fixed a lot of cool things. And I know a lot of people have been complaining about the bugs. So I think this is a step in the right direction. And I know that they're slowly going to, you know, release more. Like, for example, this Pip-Boy one, the holotapes choosing play. Um like, this is good. I like this one. The voiceover never worked before. When you press play, now it does. So, this is good. You know, um, a lot of great bug bug fixes. So, good fixes on a lot of the perks. Um, oh, let's see. Evan, there you go. Evan now spawns correctly and you can kill him. Perfect. Um, T-type use quest marker. Nice. Perfect. Like... I mean, they're doing good. I mean, they're fixing the, the bugs that people have been complaining about. Items do not have, have a cap value. can no longer be sold at vendors. That's fine. Perfect. Yeah, so, so yeah, guys. I mean, there's a lot of things here. I covered some of them. And I'm trying to see any, like, so big ones to point out. But, um... Yeah, so uh, the level up daily challenge no longer remains completed when the challenge resets a new day. Um, yeah, so so yeah, guys, this is my cover of uh, 1.0.3.10. And um, I thank you guys so much for your time. And um, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Before We Work. Um, let me know in the comment section down below of what you think about this patch. A lot of bug fixes. A lot. These are all bugs. All these. <laughs> so they've caught a lot. And I'm going to hop in and kind of give my own take on how buggy or not buggy Appalachia is. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to Before We Work with me, Ken Miko, aka Ocean Crash. Till later. Bye.